Millions of Americans will celebrate the unofficial 420 cannabis holiday tomorrow. This year's festivities comes as New York State rolls out a new plan to shut down those illegal cannabis shops. Yes, and we've been hearing about that a lot lately. And as our 18 News reporter Nick Dubina shows us why local authorities are welcoming the announcement. This is one of the most well-known so-called sticker shops in Elmira, 420 Novelties on Pennsylvania Avenue. New York State agents raided two locations of 420 Novelties back in September for selling unlicensed cannabis. We didn't go inside today, but the stores do appear to be open. Today, New York State Governor Kathy Hochul announced a new initiative to give local authorities more power to shut down shops like this one and many others. May I have a padlock here? You can borrow mine. All right, all right. All right, Mayor, let's hold up the padlock, Mayor. We got the padlock. The first part of Governor Hochul's five-point plan calls for immediately padlocking businesses after an inspection if they are caught selling illegal cannabis. See, we hit these shops with a fine, hearings and appeals, they drag on. Guess what? During that process, they stay open and haul in more and more cash that everybody knows it. And right now, these fines are just a small cost of doing business in their minds. But you know, it's hard to factor into your business model, having your front door padlocked for up to a year. What is your first reaction to the announcement made today? Um, I'm glad it's finally here, it's finally happened. Uh, I see that uh, finally they're going to give local uh, municipalities authority to shut these uh, illicit cannabis distributors down. Elmira Mayor Dan Mandel says the city now needs to pass a new law to allow police to padlock illegal sticker shops. He says approving the law could take about a month. The mayor says there are at least seven sticker shops still open in Elmira. First of all, on the revenue side, is that with a legal dispensary, we get 3% of the revenue that the dispensary makes. We don't get that with these illegal dispensaries. Second of all, this is unregulated marijuana. Uh, we don't know what's in it, um, what they may have mixed in with it. It could be very unsafe, so it could be a, a community health hazard. Other measures include making it a misdemeanor to damage or remove a padlock. A landlord who turns a blind eye to illegal cannabis sales could be fined up to $50,000. And a new statewide enforcement task force will go after unlicensed marijuana suppliers. We contacted Watkins Glen Mayor Lori DiNardo. She was in meetings for most of the day, but she did send us this statement. We surely welcome the help from the governor's office as municipalities have been left to try and close the illegal shops with their own resources as the cannabis law and board didn't have enough teeth out the gate. Shimon County Sheriff Bill Schramm also told us, I'm happy the Office of Cannabis Management now has more bite behind the bark, but this should have been in place since the beginning and not let these stores get established and make money hand over fist. This is another example of putting the cart before the horse. This is a great day. We've waited far too long for this reckoning with all the illegal shops and your day has come. To read the full five-point plan and to watch the unedited interview with Mayor Dan Mandel, we posted it all on our website. That's MyTwinTears.com. On Elmira's South Side, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News.